Yes, this is a re-recording of the video I published before. The lighting wasn't very good, not cinematic. So this is an attempt number two. Don't matter, girl. Scientists have long suspected that consciousness arises from a brain network of interconnected neurons. Imagine your brain as a giant puzzle where each neuron is a piece that fits perfectly with all the other pieces around. When you think or feel something, it's not just one neuron, but a system of neurons working together, forming one giant puzzle image. This is a simplification of what's known as integrated information theory of consciousness, theory that suggests consciousness emerges when all of these interconnected neurons complete a puzzle picture, creating a system of integrated information. In 2020, Professor John John McFadden proposes a new twist on the idea. He suggests that consciousness isn't just about interconnectedness of neurons, but also about electromagnetic fields they generate around our physical brain. The concept of electromagnetic field is truly mind-blowing. How would you explain electromagnetism to someone who doesn't know it? It's like there's certain intuition for it, there's formulas, but how do you tell them, well, there's just like an invisible excitation in something. Imagine it's just as a, it happened in fourth dimension. Imagine it as a single vast ocean. Just kind of imagine something you've never seen. Just, just kind of imagine. There's only one electromagnetic field in the whole universe. Think of electromagnetic field excitation as ripples on the surface of the ocean. If you toss two stones in the ocean, the ripples may interact if they're close, but they weaken as they travel further. However, even if the interactions are weak, everything within that field influences everything else. Electric impulses between neurons in the brain generate excitations in the electromagnetic field. Neurons are sensitive to those ripples and can change their behavior based on the local state of electromagnetic field they detect around them. So how did the consciousness come about through evolution? Well, according to the theory, neurons initially were not sensitive to electromagnetic field, but through evolution, organisms found it beneficial to be attuned to electromagnetic field around them. So they evolved to respond to it. As a side effect, we have things like free will and qualia, or some call it phenomenology, experience. John John McFadden says that artificial intelligence is not conscious because even though computers generate electromagnetic field, they don't respond or react to it in any way. But AI that reads, measures, or responds to electromagnetic field can become conscious. And that is a part of the experiments that would be required to test this theory. He calls it AI that sinks through fields. So another experiment that can be done is to apply electromagnetic field in the certain areas of the brain and see if it changes conscious experience. Overall, it's still a reductionist theory. Reductionists believe that consciousness can be reduced to material representation in the brain. They believe that it can be explained through space and time, and space and time is fundamental. And consciousness is a side effect or byproduct of certain type of organized matter and energy. So consciousness electromagnetic information theory primarily focuses on the electromagnetic field as a carrier of consciousness. An electromagnetic field is a physical phenomena. So semi-field theory is attributing consciousness to a physical phenomena. There are some non-reductionist theories that suggest that consciousness is in its own fundamental. There's many, many theories of this type. What's, what's common to all of them is they assume that space-time is fundamental. They assume that f physical processes in space-time is fundamental. Panpsychism adds consciousness as an additional thing. It's almost dualist in that re regard. And 
my attitude is our best science is telling us that space-time is not fundamental. In conclusion, semi-field theory may seem like a stretch, and it is, but overall, I enjoyed learning about this idea.